You know what you're getting with Toyota's Hilux? A pickup that'll take whatever you can throw at it. This smarter, more sophisticated 8th generation version is now equipped to do that with a bit more style, an extra dose of high tech and a more refined road going demeanour. But don't worry, it's as tough as ever. Many of today's pickup customers want an LCV like this for daily tarmac use. Some even now want it to function as their only means of transport. As a result, Toyota knew that this Mark 8 model Hilux had to become more car-like in its feel on tarmac, yet managed that without compromising the previous model's core values of tough, go-anywhere capability. Have they managed that? Well, the redesigned suspension is still leaf-sprung, so it can't match the ride quality of Nissan's rival coil-sprung Navara MP300. It is a big improvement, though, and previous buyers will note the smoother way that this pickup now handles secondary route tarmac undulations, something aided by a clever pitch-and-bounce control system that automatically adjusts engine torque to suit the road surface. Sharper, more accurate steering helps too, plus improved engine refinement makes highway trips less of a chore. Ah oh yes, the engine. It's a new 148 brake horsepower 2.4 litre D4D diesel that puts out a prodigious 400 newton metres of torque, enough to deliver the uprated 3.5 tonne towing capacity that front runners in this segment offer. This power plant features all kinds of developments aimed at improving efficiency but the benefits these enhancements deliver are to a great extent masked by the extra weight this Mark 8 model must carry around thanks in part to a tougher ladder frame chassis that's 20% more rigid than before. The six-speed manual version of this double cab variant manages 40.4 miles to the gallon on the combined cycle and 185 grams per kilometre of CO2. Go for the optional six-speed auto gearbox and the figures fall to 36.2 miles to the gallon and 204 grams per kilometre. So, what do you think? It's perhaps a little more arresting than you might expect a Hilux to be, especially when, as here, it's dressed up with plenty of exterior bling. Some pickups look a little silly when they're all chromed up, but we think that this one assumes just the right balance of style and solidity, especially in this double cab guise, a body style that'll far outsell the alternative single cab and extra cab variants. Let's take a seat at the wheel. There's something about climbing aboard a Hilux that makes you come over all crocodile dundee. As with all the toughest pickups, you perch up high, bearing down on ordinary road users with authority, and in this model you sit more comfortably on redesigned seats that are much more supportive than those of the old 7th generation model. Welcome cabin improvements include this sophisticated Toyota Touch 2 centre dash infotainment screen, the 4.2 inch TFT multi-information display on the dash and the fact that the thicker steering wheel now adjusts for reach as well as rake. Time to take a seat in the back. Uh, well here the rear seat still has a useful 60-40 split tip-up function so that valuable things like tools can be kept away from prying eyes. As for actually sitting back here, well, no double cab pickup offers rear seated passengers a really luxurious travelling experience, but this one has certainly improved itself in this regard. It helps that the seats have been redesigned to give more thigh and back support, plus the centre transmission tunnel is relatively low and thinner front seat backs free up more space for your knees. If there are only two of you, you can use this fold down centre armrest with its integrated cup holders. You can see why pickup sales continue to rise. They're practical, quite tax efficient, and more car-like than ever before. Too car-like, perhaps? Well, if you're worried on that score, then this Hilux will suit you perfectly. The eighth generation changes have made it a slightly more practical day-to-day -day tarmac tool, but never far below the surface is the rugged toughness that has taken this vehicle to the furthest and most inhospitable parts of the globe. From Alaska to the Sahara to the Australian outback, this is the vehicle of choice for people who need to get the job done. Drive one and you'll see why.